In this third video on supports, we're going to look at things that we can do and methods that we might be able to use to actually eliminate the need for support. This is on the screen at the moment a slightly modified version of the model that we had in the first two videos when we looked at supports. The thing with this model is it doesn't really matter if I do what I suggested earlier, which is change the orientation. It doesn't really matter which way I orientate this model. There's always red areas visible, which means that this model need support no matter what orientation I try to print it in and in that case we might need to go to the custom settings as I suggested in the second video and look at optimizing the support settings to get the best possible print time while still retaining the quality that we need for the final model but there's another alternative method that you might think about and that is to actually split this model into two separate parts and the way to do that is if I go to the menu here and look at the size of the model, you'll see that to all intents and purposes it's 100 millimeters tall. So I could actually split this right down the middle, which will actually then split it on the center section here. And the way to do that would be to click on the model, go to the move command, and then in the Z direction, which is the, the up direction, so this is the blue direction, if I type in minus 50 millimeters now, hit enter, We've now sunk that part down into the bill plate by 50 millimeters. So I'm now actually producing half of that model. And I could then print that part out. And then once I've printed that part out, go back to my model, rotate it 180 degrees, and then print the upper part of the model. And then I've got two separate parts of the model, both with completely flat faces, because they, they end up with a completely flat face from the glass plate that it gets printed out on. And then I can actually use some strong glue to join these two faces together. And I'll end up with that part that we had on the screen, albeit made from two separate sections joined together. And in that case, we wouldn't use any support material. And it may be quicker to actually produce a print in two separate pieces like this, spend a couple of minutes gluing it together, rather than waiting for the time to print this with a lot of support material. So that's a technique you might consider using. You can either split a print within Cura in the way that we've done here by driving it down into the bill plate. You may split your print up at the design stage if, if that's um, something that you're willing to do. Or if it's an STL file that somebody has given to you or you've, you've picked off the internet, then there are other ways of actually splitting that up either within Cura or in a program called Mesh Mixer. So this is a technique that instead of using support material, just think about your model, think about is there a way that you could actually split it into a couple of or three or four parts that you could quickly join together with glue rather than rely on the use of support material.